I've been a leader throughout my career at the University of Michigan, in the NFL as a football coach, and at Family Research Council. I use my platform to champion the issues closest to my heart, hard work, honesty, giving back to community, and personal faith. I'm announcing my candidacy today because we need a Republican renaissance, a return to our conservative core values, and a philosophy of governance. And I am ready and committed to lead this movement. You know, I've withstood the spotlight throughout my career, and I'm not the type of person to get dazed and phased by the bright lights or to get pushed around. D.C. will not change Jay Remersma. I have the strength of my conservative convictions and am uniquely qualified and prepared to lead on day one. Okay. As I've met with community leaders, business owners, and average folks throughout the district, it's clear my frustration is their frustration. It's clear that they're frustrated with their elected officials. They want new leadership who will stand up to higher taxes, run, run away government spending, government takeovers, and taxes on small businesses. I promise you that no one is going to push me around and convince me to raise taxes on, on the American people in a time when they're struggling to make ends meet. You know, they're also looking for someone with personal integrity. Someone will practice what they preach. If the good people of West Michigan honor me with their vote, I will make it my mission to uphold the integrity of that high office in both my personal conduct and the policies I advocate. You know, if we're going to ensure the future prosperity of our nation, we'll need strong leadership to stand up to corporate bailouts, increase taxes, burden, burdensome regulations, and the unsustainable growth of government. We don't want to apply the Michigan model of taxation, regulation, unionization, to our nation. Big government hasn't worked for Michigan and it won't work for America. I believe in uh, cutting discretionary spending, reducing corporate tax rates, and enacting permanent tax relief for families. And that will do more to stimulate our economy than any government program ever will. I believe that government has a compelling interest to promote a marriage culture. I believe that when we diminish the humanity of the unborn and the most vulnerable among us, we diminish our own humanity. I believe that peace comes through strength. As President Reagan once said, wars begin when governments believe the price of aggression is cheap. The American military has been one of the greatest forces for good the world has ever known. And we must honor and fulfill our obligations to those who have defended our liberty. So this morning, West Michigan is at a crossroads. Voters have a choice. Will we elect a principal leader or a timid career politician? A leader who will stand against higher taxes? or a career politician who will vote for the Michigan business tax and other taxes. Someone who will stand out in Washington and be a leader on day one, or somebody that will just be another freshman congressman. I believe that West Michigan's best days lay ahead, and that together we can build a more prosperous, secure future for our families. I'm ready to stand up for your values and to do my part to restore the conservative credibility to the Republican Party. If you share my vision for our future, I ask you to join Team Reimersma. Once again, I would like to thank all of you in attendance today. 
the others throughout the district that have just come out in great support of our campaign early. And we really appreciate all the support that you've given to us already. I am truly humbled by your trade, through your trust and faith in me as a person. Most importantly, I want to say a big thanks to my wife, Kara, and our three kids, Sophia, Tripp, and Nick. I think this would be a great opportunity to have them come up. And to the rest of my family who have been so supportive of me early in this exploratory process. You know, I couldn't do this without my immediate family, and I couldn't do it without my extended family, and I want to say I love you guys so much. Um, and to all of you that had the opportunity to come out and hear my heart, this is the start. This is the launching pad of something greater for West Michigan, something great for our community, something great for our country. All we need, now more than ever, is strong, principled fighters that will go to Washington, D.C. and not be changed by it. Will go to Washington, D.C. and change the culture for America's future. Again, I'm humbled by all of you being here today. And I can tell you, as I work this next few months to secure your sacred vote, I will try to do so that will honor your values, honor my values, and the lessons that were learned right here in this community years ago. Thank you. Thanks again for coming, and God bless.